Hi, the purpose of this YouTube video, the reason I made it was to show how you could adopt a double wide uh, poly salt shield for a snowmobile trailer for a smaller single wide trailer. So um, for salt shields for trailers, they're designed to keep the slush and the snow and the water off your sled when you're pulling it in the winter time. There's really three ways you could do it. You could build one out of plywood, you could build one out of sheet metal, or you could use a poly shield like this. The plywood ones, um, they don't show dents, but they require some pretty good carpentry skills to make it rigid. Also, you have to finish off the plywood. You have to either paint it or seal it and finish off the sharp corners on it. Sheet metal, um, if you have the tools and experience, it can be really nice to work with. It makes a nice clean edge. It is um, nice and finished, does not require painting typically. Um, the, it's lightweight. The drawback is, with sheet metal especially, it shows dents. And once the trailer is dented, which happens a lot, there's no way to get the dent out. So the benefits of the poly shield uh, doesn't require uh, good metal working or carpentry skills. Uh, comes with a nice clean finished edge that's not going to catch on your snow pants or your jacket when you're loading up your sled. Uh, doesn't require painting. It's, it's uh, easy to clean off and importantly it doesn't show dents. So rocks or if you bump into things won't show up. The drawback is you need to modify it a little bit to fit your trailer. So I'm going to just walk through the modifications I did to make this fit my trailer. the original plans for a double wide trailer the salt shield comes in three parts a center and two outer parts you obviously don't need the center part that becomes a spare part There's plenty of uh, material with just the two outer parts if you look though the outer parts have these ridges in them designed to add structural stability the problem is if you have ridges on top of ridges you're gonna have a big gap between the two sheets so the trick is I cut back the, the right outer edge so that the ridges stop before the other ridges start. Um, I ended up cutting off about 23 inches off the total width of this. Um, of course, you should measure it for your trailer because every trailer is different. As far as assembling the salt shield once you cut it to size, the uh, instructions will tell you to cut holes for 7 16 holes for these structural braces about 18 inches back 18 and a half inches back from the leading edge of the trailer and then draw a line across the trailer bed eight inches back from the leading edge for the front edge of the salt shield these pipes are also oversized they're intended for double wide trailer they also come with three pieces two outer curve piece and an inner sleeve that goes on the outside of those two inner pipes. I also had to trim those down and I cut them down so that I think I cut about 23 inches off of both pipes so they would meet in the middle and then I put the outer pipe over them and screwed them to the top of the shield. I intentionally didn't put any screws in the middle of this pipe because I didn't want to chance, risk a chance that my sled would hit that screw and scratch. So again we, we cut this inner pipe to size so they meet and you're better off making them a little long than short because if it's short it's hard to pull apart when you're screwing it together you can always cut a little bit more off you slip the outer sleeve over these two inner pipes and then you screw that down um, to the salt shield on the front that you have already screwed a couple on the bottom so if you come around to the front of the salt shield one of the trickier parts of this is uh, drilling through the plastic cover into those crossbars to get a um, a hole through that you can drive an, a bolt through. Uh, what I found is that if you draw, when you drill through the plastic, it's very soft. When you hit the curved metal part, the uh, drill bit wants to walk around and, and egg out the hole of the plastic. So drill through the plastic first. Then, when you can see the pipe, use a punch to uh, punch a divot in the pipe. Now you have a nice little pocket for the drill bit to sit in, and you'll be able to drill straight through it. Another thing to look out for when you're drilling and assembling the plastic is um, these ridges on the outside, on the right side, will come under this flat part. And you don't want to end up having drill uh, bolts go through the plastic part. 
So if you can come around the back, I'll show you that it is helpful to have a friend help you line this up to make sure that the bolts are coming through the flat part so that they don't come through and land on one of these ridges. And there's plenty of bolts and caps in the kit because it's a double wide so you can finish those off pretty nicely. The other thing I'll show you, the one other tip I have for you is that these ridges on the front, on the outside edge that come under the flat part, um, they leave a little pocket. And one of these ridges is open on the inside, the other one is kind of a dead end. I filled these with RTV silicon because number one, I don't want salt and slush to roll down inside here and fall inside the trailer. And number two, I don't want holes for spiders to live in and uh, make little nests here, spiders or bees. So I just filled those in with uh, silicone. Other than that, it's just screwing it together and you can make it uh, temporary and put in removable fixtures on the side. For mine, I just screwed it down. I also ran a bead of silicone across the front edge and I used my heat gun to warm up the plastic where they overlap because there's a little bit of ridge built into it and depending on how the thing lines up, you might have to soften and flatten that. So that's what I did. Um, this trailer is about 50 inches wide uh, between the two metal rails and uh, this salt shield I think looks really nice. It should uh, be rugged and give me years of maintenance free uh, clean travel for my sleds.